Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And today we're gonna to be looking at the Formula 18 catamaran. And this is, of course, the C2 from Goodall Design with the deck sweeper mainsail for boat parts. And what do they do? Okay, so we're just gonna take a look at the C2. We're gonna go through all of its component parts and we're just gonna say, what are they for? So we'll start off at the front of the boat where we've got the bowsprit. The bowsprit is also known as the spinnaker pole or speed boom. And that is what we fly the spinnaker from the end of. The bowsprit is supported at the front by what I like to call the pole bridles. On the C2, these are made of a Dyneema. They go through a hole in the bow of the boat and that's what supports the bowsprit. Then I've got some Telltale's wind indicators on the bowsprit there to let us know what the wind's doing. Then we've got the ring for the spinnaker chute. This has been made to an optimal shape to allow the spinnaker in and out as easily as possible. On the C2, this is an aluminium spinnaker ring, so it's very durable. And then inside there, we've got the asymmetric spinnaker, which is also known as the Genaka in certain circles. Then coming back, we've got the soft part of the spinnaker chute. This is a bag which attaches to the ring and it's in that bag where the spinnaker lives when we're not flying it. The spinnaker pole also has intermediate bridle wires for extra support and that means we're less likely to break the pole. And then the final part on the spinnaker pole or bowsprit is this line it's a very good system on the C2, and this is the line that holds the pole up, stop it from falling into the water. Much like the other boats, we've then got the regular bridle wires, and looking up, we've got the forestay, which holds the mast up. And then coming back, we've got the jib. For the observant of you out there, you'll notice this is actually a Hobie Tiger jib. That's just because we're not using the original jib on this boat. Now with the jib, we've got a jib downhaul or Cunningham system, which comes from inside the jib, comes down, down to the hull, and then this is led back to a purchase and to a cleat on the front beam. That means that we can adjust the tension in the luff of the jib while we're sailing along. And then coming back, we've got, on most F-18s, there'll be a self-tacking jib. And on this boat, it's using a Harken crossbow self-tacking jib track. Very nice. The self-tacking jib track also has a car which slides across when you tack. And then we've got the jib sheet system, which we have looked at before in a previous video. But it's a special system designed to be used with the self-tacking jib. So then we have, of course, got the mast. And on the C2, much like on most mod modern Formula 18 catamarans, it's quite a deep section. So it's quite narrow and deep. This makes it more efficient and allows you to use the mast as part of the mainsail to a certain degree. Then mounted on the mast, we've got the cleat for the spinnaker halyard. This is how we pull the spinnaker up. So the spinnaker halyard goes up the mast through a pulley about a meter and a half from the top of the mast and then that will go down and meet the spinnaker there okay then we've got the trapeze gear for the crew 
The elastic for the takeaway on the trapeze is led through the front beam on here, as is the jib sheet and the downhaul ropes. The downhaul on the C2, it all goes on underneath the trampoline, all the purchase, and then that comes up out of the trampoline, up to the sail, and you don't really need to know how the downhaul works, but it's just extremely powerful. With the deck sweeper mainsail, we've also got what's known as a deck sweeper trampoline. This is a solid trampoline, which makes a solid end plate for the deck sweeper mainsail. And now we can see the deck sweeper mainsail. It's called the deck sweeper because it really does come right down to the deck or trampoline of the boat. So there's not much space to move across the boat. You can either move across through this small gap at the back or around the front of the mast. With the deck sweeper mainsail, we're using this curved boom. It's curved so it doesn't distort the shape of the mainsail at the bottom. And then we'll just take a look up the mainsail. Oh yeah, nice. You can also see while we're looking up there, you can see the diamond wires on the mast and the spreaders. We use the diamond wires and the spreaders to control the pre-bend in the mast. Then coming back, the yellow ropes we've got here, these are the spinnaker sheets. We use those to control the spinnaker. And then we can see the dagger boards on this type of boat. These are a very high aspect dagger board, meaning that they're long and thin. This makes them very efficient, giving a high amount of lift and a low amount of drag. We've then got the trapeze gear for the helm. The elastic there is led underneath the trampoline. Then on this particular boat, we've got a telescopic tiller extension. This has come from Malcheski Composites. It's a very nice tiller extension. This can be very long or just short enough. And then we're moving back. We've got the back cross beam with integral traveler track. It's a very nice section on here. And as we come across, we can see we've got a very powerful main sheet system. This is actually a 10 to one Harken main sheet offering a lot of purchase. And then as we come back, we've got the tiller connecting bar which connects the two rudders together so they, when we move one, the other moves in exactly the same way. The mechanism for holding the rudders down is slightly different on this type of boat to on the Hobies especially. We're using a rod here which pushes the rudder down and that locks in meaning that the rudder will stay in position. To go with the high aspect dagger boards, we've also got high aspect rudder blades. These feature a carbon fiber trailing edge. Now that is nice. And then a great feature on the C2 is this angled piece at the back of the hull and toe strap arrangement. This makes it very comfortable when you're crewing with the spinnaker. Then we've got some hatches to access the inside of the hull because on this type of the boat, we've got no bunks. So there you go. I think that was a very quick rundown of all of the component parts, some of the component parts of the C2, perhaps the most significant parts and what they do. If you'd like to see a different type of boat in a similar video, if you want to know how a certain type of boat works, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to put one of these short videos together for you. 
thanks very much for watching my name's been joe you've been watching joyrider tv and i'll be back soon with some more